Hi guys and welcome back to the second episode of Off The Pedal. Today we're going to be discussing whether EVs really are the future of motoring. And of course this is a very debatable topic and this is just going to be sort of my opinion on the matter. Everyone is going to obviously think differently about the future of EVs. Now of course they have been a very very big talking point and it's a market that has grown so much just in the past two or three years as manufacturers are releasing so many new EVs. It's genuinely quite difficult to keep track of all the new models coming out. But of course there's many questions about whether EVs are really going to be up to the job of petrol and diesel cars which of course have set the bar very very high in terms of what they're able to do in the tens of years they've been with us. One of the massive issues with EVs, of course, is range. And even after all these years of development now with electric vehicles, range is still a very, very big problem. My biggest problem, I suppose, with this is, is the way range is measured. And in Europe, this is done by the WLTP regulations. And essentially, to put this shortly, the WLTP method of measuring range totally exaggerates the range of that electric vehicle. For example, the Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus, which is kind of like the entry-level Tesla Model 3 here in the UK, it has a quoted range of 248 miles according to WLTP. But in the real world, realistically, the maximum you're probably going to get is somewhere in the region of 200. So that's a very, very big difference between you know, the actual real-world range you can get and the WLTP range. There is no denying though, of course, that range is one of the things that's increasing very, very quickly on electric cars and it is getting better and better. However, I still think it has a long way to go before we're going to see basically anyone be able to pick up an electric car and it not impede on their lifestyle or the way they need to travel around. Another major issue, especially in the UK at the minute, is sort of availability of chargers and also how people are able to charge the vehicles at home because not everyone has a driveway where they can get a charger installed and have it fitted and charge their car overnight or even during the day. Now obviously Tesla's supercharger network is uh, ever growing and it's definitely one of the best if not the best charging network there is especially in terms of how fast it's able to charge vehicles. But if we think about EVs being rolled out to sort of a nationwide scale with literally millions of them on the road, there's just no way the current infrastructure is going to be able to keep up with that. Not to mention the demand on the national grid here in the UK. It's just going to, it's going to be so big and there has to be so much change in all of these sectors just to be able to cope with that increased demand. So essentially, an awful lot still needs to happen to be able to facilitate millions and millions of new electric vehicles on the road. I think the other question we've got to ask ourselves is, how good for the environment really are these new EVs going to be? Now of course, yes, when you're actually running the car, no emissions are produced. But you've got to think, how is that electricity being generated? Well, in a lot of the worlds, much of the electricity is still generated by the burning of fossil fuels. So as such, there's then going to be a connected CO2 emission based on the electricity used to power that electric vehicle. You've also got to look at the damage of mining lithium for the lithium ion batteries. And not to mention simply the production of the car in the first place. And I think this is quite a crucial bit on EVs because these are being sort of sold almost as a consumable. They have a usable life much, much less than that of a petrol or diesel car. And that's due to just battery degradation, essentially. The batteries degrade over time, can hold less charge, and eventually no one's gonna to wanna to buy an EV that's 10 years old with half the range that it had when it was brand new. It's just, just not gonna suit their needs. So what you've gotta look at is by moving everyone to electric vehicles, does this mean we're actually gonna be increasing the overall production in vehicles? 
in which case is the game going to be lots more emissions produced and all the other sort of mining and production of materials used in that overall production process. However, obviously, stuff really does need to change in terms of how much humans are polluting the earth because it is definitely a big problem. So I do think that EVs can be the future. It's just possibly we might need to look at it a little bit differently. For example, the use of hydrogen fuel cells, which essentially will mean filling your car up with hydrogen, which could utilize the existing networks that we use for petrol and diesel. And then you'll have technology on board that will break down that hydrogen and produce electricity. This is just one way we could do it. And uh, there's also talk now of synthetic fuels as well. And that's probably a topic I'm gonna to cover in, in another video. I do think that EVs probably are the future, just in the basic principles of how the car functions in terms of having electric motors and batteries. I think there's just gonna be a lot of questions about how that electricity is generated in the first place and how it's used, and also the useful life of the vehicles. We, we need vehicles that last longer times. So you can't have something that needs to be changed every few years, because that's just not gonna be good for the environment, having a new car made every three years for every person. It's just not good. But of course there's no denying that EVs have improved a lot in recent years and I'm sure these things will be ironed out with time. It'll be very interesting to see what happens. Um, but yeah, I suppose it's an exciting future that we can look forward to. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.